General Motors, right? They just lost a hell of a lot of money. After writing down the value of their business in China last, well, the fourth quarter of last year and losing five, well, more than $5 billion as a result, General Motors has now reported a massive profit loss it claims is thanks to Donald Trump, $1.1 billion. So General Motors is literally hemorrhaging cash right now. They have just canceled their hydrogen factory, hydrogen fuel cells. It was meant to provide fuel cells for, I don't know, who knows what, some sort of imaginary hydrogen-powered future. That's been canceled, fortunately. But GM did commit $900 million to new V8 engines. It says, though, it's going to save a lot of money with these new batteries, apparently. That will help it to claw back some of the losses it's been making. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to have you with us. I'm Sam Evans. I want to say thank you to our YouTube members. If you'd like to become a member, I'll put a link in the description below. General Motors said on Tuesday it plans to continue the development work for low-cost electric vehicle batteries in the United States. It's really trying to compete against China. That's the big challenge here. Although GM are competing against China, but they're going to use lithium-ion phosphate batteries from China. They're going to make them themselves using Chinese technology, but that'll be the cheapest batteries GM will have. However, GM says that um, after its profits plunged 32% in the second quarter of this year, it says mainly due to Trump administration tariffs. I'm not sure if that's actually true though, $1.1 billion. It says that really it's new batteries, these lithium manganese rich batteries, LMR batteries, will save the company essentially driven by its reduced nickel and cobalt content in large truck packs. We believe that potential savings on LMR are even greater than using lithium-ion phosphate at today's prices, metal prices, said GM CEO Mary Barrett during the second quarter earnings call on Tuesday. I find that really hard to believe that it's cheaper for General Motors to use LMR batteries instead of LFP. I mean... Are they saying it's based on today's manganese prices? I was curious to know about this because, I mean, General Motors saying LMR batteries, right, would be cheaper than lithium-ion phosphate. I find that hard to believe. So did a little bit of research, breakdown on the latest available data around actual manganese ore. Uh, it's generally up a little bit or slightly stable. Several sources indicate small positive increases as in negative because it's going up in price by a little bit one report from april 2025 indicates that man manganese ore market was experiencing significant price declines all major ore types and port regions the price has gone down by up to four percent showing a downward trend in play medium term data shows negative price changes so the price appears to be going down so General Motors is saying, based on today's price of manganese, they think they can make lithium manganese rich batteries cheaper than lithium ion phosphate. Now, if that is actually accurate, and I find that hard to believe, as I said, if that is accurate though, that's huge because these lithium manganese rich batteries have a much, much, much higher energy density. I'm estimating about 270 watt hours per kilogram, probably up to 280 watt hours per kilogram. At around that level, that's probably about 30% more energy dense than lithium-ion phosphate batteries that are about 190 watt-hours per kilogram. General Motors, if they're actually telling the truth about the cost of their lithium-manganese-rich batteries and not just trying to appease, appease investors, then if they're telling the truth, this is unquestionably a game-changer for them. And kudos to them. I mean, they basically outmove at everyone because, honestly, if they're able to produce these batteries lower than lithium-ion phosphate or even on par and have a much higher energy density, that means they can put a much smaller in size battery in a car for the same net benefit as a bigger lithium-ion phosphate battery, which would in theory then cost more and be heavier. So, I mean, well done to GM. Now, I've got to say, it is a bit questionable because this information is coming from General Motors at a time when they're under pressure, their stock is under pressure, they're losing a lot of money. As I said, in the fourth quarter last year, they lost 5.1 billion write-off, another 1.1 billion in this quarter. Anyhow, let's look at the batteries. LMR stands for lithium manganese rich, which is a new battery chemistry that significantly reduces the portion of, well, the expensive part of the battery, which is the nickel. The nickel is uh, expensive, so is cobalt. So getting rid of the nickel and cobalt, 
that is enabling big cost savings. Now, Tesla have been working on lithium manganese rich batteries now for many, many years. Jeff Dahn, who used to work at Tesla, or we, we thought was still working sort of on the side for Tesla, he apparently was able to make these game-changing lithium manganese rich batteries, and then we never heard about them for years. I don't know what happened. So very strange. Anyway, LMR batteries use a much higher portion of manganese, which GM says is abundant, and therefore its uh, mining process is cheaper, and it's actually not, there's no real question marks around, you know, the question marks we have around nickel, around cobalt, which are issues, there's none of that. So supply chain can also be decoupled from China, plus the mineral or manganese itself can be refined and processed in the United States. Ford is actually working on LMR batteries as well. I believe Tesla is doing it too. So this could be, a, if Ford and GM are able to pull off this basically mass production of LMR batteries, which are, if they're as good as they say they are, then that would be a massive step for the United States in order to actually decouple from China. Apparently, the cost savings will be substantial. Here's what Mary Barra said. The new lithium manganese rich or LMR chemistry that we are developing with LGES, which is LG Energy Solutions or LG Chem, as they were for formerly known, uh, a South Korean company, so it's a joint venture, unfortunately, it's not, so, it's not solely owned, will be another game changer, she says, because of its unique balance of energy density, charging capability, and cost efficiency. In terms of charging capability, I highly doubt that you'll be able to charge these batteries at say the 1000 kilowatt or 800 kilowatt that we're seeing from a fair few different lithium ion phosphate batteries in China. We're seeing that uh, apparently companies, numerous companies have tested that and it works well. I don't think that it's gonna be likely wanna see that kind of charging speeds from LMR batteries because normally with a new battery chemistry, Manufacturers don't really know. They don't really know, can you charge it that much and still get, I don't know, 30 years of life out of those batteries. So they normally go low in order to protect the battery packs and they kind of test over time. That's likely what's going to happen here. GM are, are planning to start production of LMR cells with their joint venture partner, LG Energy Solutions, in 2027. So we're still, you know, a year and a half to two years away. The batteries... Will they be cylindrical cells? A lot of the auto market is actually moving away from prismatic cells. Not LFP I'm talking about, I'm talking about cylindrical NMC, NCM chemistry batteries. You know, BMW, uh, BMW and numerous other automakers are using cylindrical battery cells now in their higher end cars in particular, but prismatic cells are still used very commonly and normally with lithium ion phosphate. So these will be packaged in the same way as what GM does with its existing batteries. They'll be prismatic cell format. They'll be installed in full-sized pickup trucks and SUVs from 2028 onwards. Apparently, they'll deliver more than 400 miles of range. So it sounds like the energy density is similar to General Motors' current nickel manganese cobalt aluminium NMCA batteries that are installed in its SUVs and its pickup trucks right now. I have heard General Motors say though, they think they can improve energy density by around 10% using these manganese rich batteries. Uh, that's yet to be seen though. GM say they'll launch the Chevy Silverado EV with lithium ion phosphate batteries, the cheapest version of the Silverado will come in 2027 and deliver 350 miles of range and cost $6,000 less. That could, I mean, we might see a Civi Silverado around 60,000 US dollars with lithium ion phosphate batteries and 350 miles of range. I think that'd be a really good vehicle at that price. In addition, the cheaper next generation Chevy Bolt EV, probably coming in around 25 to $30,000, that's also going to get lithium ion phosphate batteries. So I'm not really sure why, if LMR are cheaper for General Motors and have higher energy density, much higher than LFP, why is it the Silverado base model and the Chevy Bolt are going to get LFP? No idea. But GM says the cost savings could be thousands of dollars more compared to LFP. So maybe by 2027, they'll move away from LFP. I'm not really sure. Anyway, GM announced last week it will convert a portion of its Spring Hill, Tennessee factory for the local production of LFP batteries. Conversion of that plant will begin by the end of this year. 
It'll be completed by the end of 2027. And production will start around the same time. Domestically developed and produced cells are necessary for a resilient, secure, American-oriented supply chain, said Mary Barra. All of this sounds awesome. I hope it plays off, but I am a little bit skeptical simply because of the fact that General Motors are saying, right, that they'll be producing in large numbers lithium-ion phosphate batteries and LMR batteries in 2027. If these LMR batteries are cheaper and have a higher energy density than LFP, why bother with LFP? I don't understand that. It doesn't really make sense. So what I'm thinking at this point in time is maybe General Motors haven't quite cracked the LMR battery and they're just saying, well, we hope it will be, but we're not 100% sure. That's what I suspect. That's not what GM is publicly saying, but that's what it actually looks like if you read between the lines. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Thank you.